Hi, my name is Elizabeth Sinclair, and I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Michigan, and I want to make this more table-looking. Okay, except for the fact you see my mess here, but that's that's kind of what we're working on. <laughs> All right, this is a birthday card I'm doing. Um, it's a fun fold, and when you get it, you can open it like this, and of course, you can make a little white spot there to put you know, a little sentiment or make that more of a sentiment too, if, if you want, but it's just, it's interesting. Okay, there we go. I'm going to make it in a different color, of course, but I'm going to show you how to do it. This is my website. Um, all right. There's a bunch of different measurements for this. I put them all in the, uh, direct, uh, what do you call it? The description below. So you'll see that. But basically what I'm using is the Beautiful Balloons stamp set. The paper, the designer paper for, with that, and the main colors are going to be Blueberry Bushel and Lemon Lally. Now, this is the main card base. You want to make this one 11 inches long, and then you're going to score it at two and a half and five and a half, which I, I did ahead of time because I didn't want this to be a, a long video of a bunch of things that I don't need to show you how to do. All right, let's make sure those are nice and dark. Then I've got a piece of lemon yellow. No, lemon lolly, which I, is yellow. <laughs> and this one is nine and a half long. I'm going to score that at two and three quarters and five and three quarters. This is going to go inside of there. But we're only going to adhere it to the top and the bottom. That's what gives it the neat kind of look there. So we're just going to get these nice and tight there. So that's what these are. First, I'm going to start with this one, and there's going to be layers for all three of these. I did those in basic white. Move that. And I've got this one, this one, and this one. This one is five and a quarter by, what is it? Five and a quarter by four. four. And, well, this is four and a quarter. So this is going to be four by five and a quarter, and it's going to fit back here. And then these two, I'm trying to find my white on my little cheat sheet here. My white, these two are three and a quarter by two and a half. So they're going to go here, and they're going to go here. Although this one looks like I made it a little bit too. Yeah, I'm going to trim that one a little bit. Yeah, that wasn't exactly two and a half. <laughs> that was like two and three quarters. So it'll fit there and here evenly. Now, I didn't want plain boring white. So I've got this from the stamp set. It is streamers and party, what have you. And then I've got my blueberry bushel and we're going to stamp those just a little bit to give it some fancy look here. So, and this I probably should have done off camera because this might take a few minutes, but it is what it is. I'm a little late doing this video anyway. I try to do them at 11 o'clock. However, I had an appointment to get my hair done at 10, and that isn't exactly something I can get done with by 11. So, my plan was to go to my new um, software that I uploaded for doing videos to just, um, you know, record them. And I figured this morning I would just record a video and then I can sit there at the salon and go ahead and put it on YouTube at 11 o'clock. Unfortunately, this is new software for me and I could not figure out how to do it this morning. So I just decided we're going to have to do this late because I wasn't going to try to rush and do it while I was eating breakfast and what have you. So this is why you have me at three instead of 11. I'm sure future <clears throat> videos, I'm going to try my darnest to get them right at 11 like I want it to, okay? Now, this is the end of September, and I do, I have made a couple fall cards. I made a Christmas card. I have some more things to do with the skeleton than bones that I have to work on. And then you'll probably get a couple 
more videos throughout the week here and there. Um, basically, I promised myself that I will do one, but I'd like to do more. But those will probably be pre-recorded. We'll see what it, if I can get that program working right. <laughs> All right, there we go. So you've got homemade DSP. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to put these on there. Did I do that right? Look what I did. <laughs> There's always two sides to a back. So if it's going that way, it has to go this way, not that way. Silly me. Sometimes when I talk, I can do things like that. But just to show you, nobody's perfect. And there's two you know, sides to a piece of paper. And it can be easily fixed. Now I'm re-inking every time I do this. Because I don't want some to be lighter, some to be darker. I just want them to be kind of the same. See? Easy fix. Now we're all going the same way. Alright, so I'm going to glue these down. And then we'll get started on the yellow layer. Now I can only do that because that's a relatively new glue. If it was an older one, I wouldn't do that. All right, let's see. Dark color with dark color. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, that looks good. Next. Actually, yeah. Works better looking at it with the white background. <laughs> All right, then we're going to do these. Now that piece is done. Let that sit. Next we've got this one. And this one has a little bit more layers. A little bit more pizzazz. Because that's the one that's in the front. Alright. So first I've got get my cheat sheet out. I've got some basic white. Uh, this is the sentiment. That's two by three. And this one is three and a quarter by two and a half. That's going to be a layer. I've got these three pieces of designer paper that I cut and I made sure they went the same way. I honestly didn't on that one, but I was careful this time. These are all three and three quarters because that's three and a half. And then two or two and a half, one's three and three quarters because one's a little bit bigger. So we're going to put one of these on the bigger one and then the other two on the sides. But I don't want to, yeah, I can do that. I just put them like that. And then this one is a yellow, goes like this. Wait a minute, wait a minute, something seems kind of goofy. This to there. So this one is going to go here, like that. This one, like that. You know what's goofy? This is upside down. <laughs> okay. So that goes here. This goes here. This goes here. But this one looks a little big. Like it's not really it's supposed to be three and a quarter. Let's see if we can check that measurement. Oh, wow. No, no. It was not three and a quarter. <laughs> Don't know what I did there. Like that. This one and this one. And then this one is going to go on at the end. But I am going to glue that together. 
First I'll put these three on. These three are going to go together. This is the blue one that I did three and three quarters by three and a half. And it's going on a yellow that's three by three and three quarters. So it's off a quarter give you that nice little even border and then the white one is a quarter less so this little white one is uh, ba, ba, ba. three and a quarter by two and a half oh, wait a minute okay and this one goes right here Like that. Now, this one, not sure. Oh, I think this was this, but I I, re I stamped that ahead of time, so I didn't want to deal with that. This is the happy birthday down here, and I put a little bit of the swirly things around it. Just to give a little continuity do, do, like that now I left a little space I can put from Beth or you know whatever here if I want to put a little you know sign it <laughs> you can do that there and then I'm going to add these two together now, you want them to fold like that. So, fold it like this. And Although there isn't much there. I wonder if I let me do something. See, I did it this way last time where I had the shorter end on the bottom. But I like the bigger end better because then you don't see so much of it. Okay. So basically take it. Like that. And lay it down where you want it. You want to make it kind of even, and this is what I would do. Keep it there, and this is going to go right there at the end, which means I need a little more something there, but that's okay. I'll do that. So we're going to hold it here. Make sure it's even, okay, and I'm going to lift carefully. Put some glue right here on the top, okay. Push down right where I had it. I'm going to hold it. And we're going to do the same for the bottom. Okay. Now, if that's going to be there, I'm just holding that there. Okay. Lift up. Put a little bit on the bottom. Put down. Okay. 
And while that's drying, why don't we just do a couple more of these? Maybe one here. <laughs> that looks a little bit better. Okay. Now, granted, they a freshly made fun fold does not stay closed until you've had it sit around like that for a while, like this one. <laughs> All right. So now this one is going to go right here, and we're just going to glue that. Okay, and next I have some of these. These are the Tinsel 4 gems, and they happen to have blueberry bushel in there. So we're going to decorate a little bit. Let's put my glue up. Yeah, I opened them on the side. I normally don't do that with these. <laughs> so I just grab a couple. Now, I didn't do this with my first card because I didn't even I didn't think about it I'm not at that point where gems come to my mind right away when I'm throwing a card together hmm I want to do that now I'll put it down here there that's good okay so here's this week's card here's last week's card Thank you for watching.